Hey, it's Emma Looms here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Rybana bracelet which was designed by Loom Snow on Instagram. So here is her account. So please go give her a follow for me if you haven't done so already and here's a bit of a quick scroll through. She has amazing bracelets and amazing pics. So yeah, with that being said, let's get started. To make this bracelet, you'll be needing a hook, a C-clip, and some bands. Today I'll be using glitter gold, silk baby pink, and glow pastel bands. To start the bracelet, we're going to be making an 8-loop setup with our border colour. So first of all, you want to grab your band and make a cap band on your hook. Take your next band and pull it through the cap band and then reclaim the outermost loop. Take your next band and pull it through the first two loops and reclaim the outermost loop and do that once more. So there's your first half and now we're going to change sides and add bands to the other half. So take off the first band that is on your hook and reclaim the other half of that cap band and close it. Take your next band and you're going to pull it through the first two loops and reclaim the outside loop. And do that once more. And there you have your eight loop set up. Now for the next step we're going to be adding a centre band, which for me is going to be the silk baby pink, and you're going to pull it through the middle two bands. So pull it through the first five loops on your hook, and then reclaim the outside three and then close. Rearrange those three over to the outside. So you should have something like this. Now we're going to be adding our very first band, which for me is going to be this glow pastel red and you're going to pull it through the first four loops then you're going to reclaim the band that is closest to the tip of the hook and then grab the second band which is the same band as the one you're holding and loop it over loop it over the pink and over the tip of the hook all together now what you're going to do is you're going to skip this band and just pick up the outside two bands and then close. Rearrange those two border bands over to the outside and then what you want to do is you want to take the first band off the hook and hold on to it or you can just let it go like that, it's not going to really go anywhere. And you're going to pull the second loop over the first. And then put this band back onto the hook. So you should have something like this and now we're going to be adding another border band Pull it through the first two loops and lift the outside loop. Now we're going to change sides. Grab your next stitch band and pull it through the first four loops. Reclaim the band closest to the tip of the hook, which should be a center band. Grab this band, which is the same band as the one you're holding, and take it and loop it over the hook and that center band. Skip this band that is right here and only pick up the outside two loops then close. Then rearrange these two border bands over to the outside. Now you're going to lift off the first band and then pull the second band over the first one. Pull this band back onto the hook. Take a border band and pull it through the first two loops and reclaim the outside loop and close. So this is what you should have and we're back to this setup again. What we do next is we're just going to add a centre band by pulling it through the middle two bands. So it's the same step as we did at the beginning. Pull it through the first five loops and reclaim the outside three and rearrange those three back over. Now you take your next colour or whatever colour you're using, pull it through the first four loops and reclaim the fourth one, then grab this band and loop it over 
and then reclaim the outside too, then close and rearrange those two border bands back over to the outside. Take off the first band on your hook and then loop that stitch band over and then put that band that was off the hook back onto the hook. And now you're going to add a border band by pulling it through the first two loops and lifting the outside loop. Now you're going to change sides and do the same thing. Take your stitch band and pull it through the first four loops. Reclaim the band closest to the tip of the hook, grab the second band and loop it over. Reclaim the outside two loops before closing and rearrange those two over to the outside. Take off the first band and loop the second band over the first band or pull the first band through the second band and then put that band, this band here, back onto the hook and then add another border band, pull it through the first two loops and reclaim the outside loop and close. So that is what you should have right now and then you're going to add another center band. So pull it through the first five loops on your hook and reclaim the outside three and rearrange those three over to the outside just like that. And the steps repeat again. So pull your stitch band through the first four loops, reclaim this band closest to the tip of the hook, grab the second band and loop it over. Then reclaim the outside two loops and close and rearrange those two back over. Take off the first loop and pull that under like that like I've shown you before, then put the band that was off the hook back onto the hook. Now take your border band and pull it through the first two loops and reclaim the outside loop. Change side. So now that you're on the other side, you take another one, another one of your stitch bands, pull it through the first four loops and reclaim the band that is closest to the tip of the hook. Grab this band which is the same band as the one you're holding and loop it over the center band and the hook and then before closing reclaim the outside two and then close and then rearrange those two back over. So now you take off the first loop and then loop off this green band and then put that loop back on and then take your border band and pull it through the first two loops and then reclaim the outside loop. Now you'll be adding another center band, like I've shown before, pull it through the first five loops and reclaim the first three back on and rearrange those three back onto the outside. And those steps are going to be repeated over and over again. So now I'm going to show you how to close the bracelet and what you're going to do is you're going to just take your stitch colour and you're going to add them like normal and also do the looping over part two like this and of course do the same thing to the other side now you should have something like this and now you're going to take one last band and you're going to pull it through everything on your hook. I kind of ran out of glitter gold, so I'm just going to use this clear band. Just pull it through everything on the hook. And then you can add your C clip. And then you're done. That is how you make the Ribana bracelet. Thank you all so much for watching this tutorial and if you liked it then please give it a big thumbs up and if you decide to make this bracelet and post it on Instagram please use the hashtags Rybana Bracelet, Loomstow and Emerald Looms. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!